Hi everyone, welcome to The Bride Guide 101 with Gemma and Jade and today we're continuing our focus on underskirts. So we've got Gemma Ta -da, in a wedding dress. So we're looking at fitted wedding dresses and we're taking the same underskirt, a little bit like we did with the A-line one. So we've got four fitted dresses. We're going to put the same underskirt on. So this is one hoop, like this, with three layers over the top, again, to help soften that hoop, but it's gonna kick it out a little bit, take it off Gemma's legs, and hopefully by seeing the four wedding dresses that fitted you might, with different fabrics, you might see your wedding dress, if you are considering an underskirt, see how that look will go with your dress. So we get straight to it, so we're gonna pop an underskirt on with Gemma in this dress. I don't know I what do she's doing. Dress. It's like, oh, we're getting married, it's Monday morning. Gemma. <laughs> Gemma seems to be flying behind me. You can do whatever you want on your wedding day. It's you quite fun. light, this one is, as well, isn't it so yeah. I think it'd be interesting to see because it does sort of move I don't know if you can see it or not I'll move back a bit it does move quite flowy so yeah it'll be interesting to see with the underskirt if this is the look that you want or the underskirt or the underskirt the underskirt the underskirt, underskirt. underskirt. let's go <laughs> okay then so we've popped the underskirt on with this dress and as you can see it's now structured because it's bringing it out and it's fixed so if I just lift the skirt up and I'll see. Ooh, so that socks. Like a, <laughs> usually it's black ties, which can't work socks this time. So you can see that that hoop is sitting out. So as the dress falls on top of it, you've now got much more fuller skirt at the bottom. So with this lace dress, you've got the structure it's holding its shape. How's it feel? Uh, it's much better being off my legs. And I do quite like the shape then as well, because obviously you've got a bit more of a curvy shape. Yeah. Um, I, I, to be fair, I liked it before. Yes. But then I think once you've got the skirt on, you're like, actually, the shape of the dress looks better, it's I think. It's always going to hold the shape better having yeah. an underskirt on. Especially, you've got to think about this, this is a fitted dress. So for me, a fitted dress is all about curves. So it's going waist, hips, and I think by having that... Like this, back, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. What's it like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh I'm the silliest today, aren't we? I have to pull her up. <laughs> So she's been flying today, <laughs> she's been on it. So again, by kicking this shape out, you're holding that silhouette, and I think that's the joy of why um, fitted dress looks so good on people. So we're gonna move on to the next dress now and see the difference. Okay then, so now we've got Gemma in a satin fitted dress, and I mean like, hello. No, hello. I love this dress. <laughs> I just love the lines, and for me, this dress is all about the cleanness. It's already quite a structured dress for a couple of reasons. I'm losing my voice slightly there. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I had something. Water! I felt like I had something in my throat. It's like, <laughs> play it cool, Jake. <laughs> play it cool. <laughs> Let's not talk about it, but I'll make a whole thing about it now. <laughs> so with this dress, because of the, the fabric, it is, it's holding its shape quite well. And for me, the joy of this dress is the, the clean lines of it. So I think with the um, denser fabric, and these lines here, it's really helped kicking out the dress. So while we put on an underskirt now, when the difference that makes, so hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> How it looks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna have some water. <laughs> and a lie down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, so now we pop the underskirt on with this fitted satin dress. And as you can see, this is, as we said, it's a really structured wedding dress anyway. So it's really brought it out now and created such more of a dramatic, really structured look. It's really taken to the next level. So it really depends on what look you want for this dress. You want to keep it without an underskirt to be more relaxed prior to it, or if you really want to go for it, this underskirt will do that for you with it. So this is the one hoop, remember, with three petticoats. How does it feel, Jen? Um, it feels very big yeah. so if that's the look that you want this is perfect yes um i think i preferred it before wearing it but you know i think it's just it literally just depends on what silhouette you want to try exactly. and get so if you want to exaggerate the silhouette of the dress that is more structured especially with the satin as i said because it's quite a dense fabric it's already bringing a lot of structure to it and you've got to remember there is no detail on this dress less is more so by doing so not having that lace you're really noticing the shape of this dress, I think, and that's yeah. probably why, and then yeah. adding the underskirt on, you've done that even more, you've really made it about the shape, that is the detail of this dress. So move on to the next one. So here we have Jem in her perfect dress. <sighs> Every time she puts this on, she's like, oh my God, look at me. Love it. You love it, don't you? Yeah. But interestingly, this dress looks rubbish on me. Yeah, it, it does. it's each person, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I think it's a bit like a normal bridal shopping. Sometimes when you put dress on, you're like, oh, it really suits you, and other times they're like, oh, it doesn't. Do you remember? I had it on, and I was like, oh my God, I love it. Ooh, 
wore both, and then Jade put it on. I was like, yeah, she looked to me, she's like, it was like, who wore it better? I admit it. <laughs> put it on, I was just like, I think too much, yeah. too much for you. I them. think because being petite, when you're short, you can't carry certain looks off. No. And I think because this dress comes from here, it was going that little bit lower than on my thigh. So it, I was just, it, it was wrong. Good. Yeah, we decided again, so yeah. that's what Jen's in this dress. But for another reason, so again, we've got it coming out here. So with the other dress that was slightly lower, we've now come from Gemma's thigh. So as we put the underskirt on, we see the difference that makes. If you have got a dress, a slightly different cut of fit. Cut of fit? Fit? Fitted cut? <laughs> Fitted dress cut. Yeah, you know what we mean. You know what we're a trying to say. A different cut of a fitted dress. dress. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I got there. <laughs> so we're going to look now. We're putting that underskirt on and see the difference that makes to the overall look and feel of the dress. Right then, so here we have Gem now with the underskirt on, her favourite dress. And I think you just said it feels like more... Yeah, I think because it's all about the drama of this dress, yeah. isn't it? And because it's chul, you can find that it sometimes feels a little bit like it's all over your legs. So you feel like you're sort of kicking it a little bit, whereas this feels nice and it's going to keep that shape now. It doesn't yes. matter which way you, you have a photograph taken, I'm going to have the silhouette that I want. Because this is that sort of dress, it is an extreme sort of bam at the bottom isn't yeah, it? Yeah the detail of this dress is the shape of the dress obviously we've got the lace on top of that but again with a fitted dress I do feel like it is all about the shape. Yeah. With the A-line you can go softer with it and everything so I think by adding the underskirt on more importantly it's going to especially if you've got this kind of tulle it can be a lot sometimes as Gem said so by having that underskirt on it's really going to keep it off well, your it, legs. It sprays it out as well doesn't it and I'm yeah. able to see the appliques of lace now better whereas yes. before they were all sort of bunched up a little bit weren't they so if you've got lovely detail on it it's displaying it isn't yeah. it? Yeah so I think it's worth bearing in mind if you are having a dress like this play around with a fitted underskirt because you will find it will help you and actually adds to the dress and make it even look even more stunning. So we're going to move on to our last and final dress now and see the difference the underskirt can make with that one. I can't remember what it is, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> so finally we have Gem in another fitted dress. This is a crepe fabric and for me, oh, I love you this, love this dress too. I do. It's one of my favourites. Um, it's quite a relaxed uh, fit as well. So whereas the previous dresses we've had on, some of them are quite, quite strikingly. Oh. <sighs> it's a big word to me. <laughs> um, you've really seen the structure. This one is slightly more gentle, so you can see it's um, it's coming out here. But because of the way the fabric falls, it's keeping it quite soft and gentle. So by adding an underskirt, that will be more structured, so you can see the difference of that. So let's go. So we've popped the underskirt on with this dress, and you can see it's really helped with the structure of it. It's made it as gems like say dramatic. But I think by doing so, you've, it's holding a structure more importantly now. So in previous, it would have just fell. Having that hoop under it, or those three layers of petticoats, it's holding its structure and it's making it more of a wow. And you can see the detail of it. And more importantly, it's taken off Gemma's legs. So you might want an underskirt just for that, as we've said previous, on our previous videos. But I just said that I, I think for me, because I'm more, I'm, I'm petite here and then quite bottom heavy. So I've got bigger thighs, bigger bum. And I feel like it really balances me out again. Yeah. Whereas when it just goes straight down, I feel like it's just wider and then it doesn't give me the shape so I suppose it, it might depend on each individual bride rather than the dress as well I think you've really got to play around and see what you think and hopefully by doing these videos you can see the difference that an underskirt makes more importantly we've had the same underskirt on four different wedding dresses mm. so you can see that it's about playing around with it and getting the best out of it by going oh I'm not sure because some of these dresses Jen might have put on if she were a bride and got no it's not for me but actually by putting the underskirt on you'd oh, like, I wouldn't have this dress without the underskirt for me yeah so it, if you don't try, if you try a dress on, you're like, I really like it, but there's just something missing about it. It might just be that. Yeah. So any comments, any questions, pop them in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. And hopefully we'll see you again soon for one of our other videos looking at all tips for bridal shopping. Bye.